On this problem, we're given a little bit of information about a function, and we're asked to approximate 4.05. Now the information we're given about it is an ordered pair, f of 4, so 4 very close to our 4.05, and f prime of 4. All right, so to do this problem, I'm going to run through it two different ways. The first way is basically thinking this is linear approximation, right? So kind of thinking f of x equals mx plus b, or y equals mx plus b. Then the second way I'm going to go through it is with more of a formula, more of a formalized nice formula. So the first information let's start with is f prime of 4 equals 2, negative 2. All right, one critical piece of information about derivatives is derivatives tend to mean the slope of tangent lines. All right, so whenever you see derivative, be thinking slope. With that information, let's start filling in here. We have f of x equals, instead of m, I'm going to think that derivative can take that place for m, uh, times x plus b. The next piece of information let's think about is that f of 4 equals 3. Well, this is function notation, but it basically means the same thing as an x value of 4 corresponds with a y value of 3. Or, in our case, we can think, well, that's an x value, that's an f of x, or y value, let's plug them into the formula. All right, we're creating this formula over on the left-hand side, so f of x can be replaced with 3. We're going to bring that negative 2 along. We're going to replace our x value with 4. And now we only have that one missing piece of information in this equation. Everything else is numbers except for b. So let's do some solving down for b. We're going to get 3 equals negative 8 plus b and then move the 8 to the other side by adding it. 3 plus 8 makes 11. Let's put this back up here, actually the next line down right here, in for our b. So our function now looks like f of x equals negative 2 times x plus 11. All right, we want to eventually try to use that to estimate f of 4.05. So what we'll do is plug in 4.05 in for our x, right? That's an x value. It's going to be negative 2 times 4.05 plus 11, or negative 8.10 plus 11. It's going to be approximately 2.9. Not, not a bad way to go through this, but I think if you have this formula written down, maybe on a formula sheet or something like that, you're going to like this other method even better. So for this other method, what we want to do is we want to fill in basically f prime of a, x minus a, plus f of a, and that will give us a general formula to approximate any of these values close to 4, because we're going to use a is 4 in this case. So we can say, well, that's the same thing as f prime of 4, x minus 4, right? And we're replacing each of the a's with 4's, plus f of 4. All right, so we're going to pick that information that was given to us out from the top, and we're going to plug it in for f prime of 4 was going to be that negative 2. And then we have multiplied by x minus 4 plus, recall at the top here, f of 4 was 3. Okay, so this gives us, again, a formula that came out really nice and quick um, as far as getting there. As long as you have it written down, it's not bad. So let's use it again to estimate that f of 4.05. Well, in this case, it's going to be negative 2 multiplied by 4.05 minus 4 plus 3. So negative 2, we'll work what's inside of our parentheses first. So 4.05 minus 4 is 0 0.05. We'll multiply next. So negative 2 times 0 0.05 is negative 0 0.1 plus 3 is going to get us our approximation, that same 2.9 that we came up with going the other method. All right, two different methods to get to the same place, to get good linear approximations for these. Even though it doesn't feel like a lot of information is given at the beginning, it's plenty to get us through these problems as long as you know kind of where to fill it in. All right, I hope this helps. Good luck.